So what we've done here is a bit of a cupboard check. So we've just pulled out a whole bunch of stuff out of this tank and then we're just going to make heads and tails of it. So the first thing is we found is a bit of prime, which is a water ager. In this tank I want to be using RO water, so therefore I'd only use prime if I wanted a detoxification. Um, under in this cabinet we've managed to find three different calciums. One, two, three, they're all calcium. So we want to be ensuring that our calcium level is about 420 parts per million. That requires either weekly dosing or the addition of a dosing pump, which is occurring now. We found two different um, KHs. Um, it's really important we run our KH at about 8 dKH for a tank like this. So once again, weekly doses or a dosing pump. Um, we found two different magnesiums. We want to run a magnesium level of at least three, at, at least 1,200. So weekly doses or a dosing pump. Um, we've also found some Nopox, which is very effective for nitrate. <coughs> Not always effective for phosphate, in my opinion. So we're going to get some FosFX to help strip this tank of phosphates because there is some phosphates in there at the moment. But this one here we're going to treat daily and we're going to make sure the skimmer is clean twice a week. Um, we've also found a general trace element supplement. So we're going to dose three mils of that per week. That's None of these are going to make or break the tank. These ones are the ones that are really going to make an impact. It's going to make this tank better. In the long run, it's going to be great that we use them, but um, they're really not as important as, as your reef builders and your reef killers. So three mils of this one a day, uh, uh, a week. We'll also put in some amino acids. Due to the stock of fish he's got into the tank and the quality of the foods he's feeding, he's feeding Denichi and New Life Spectrum, which is as good as it gets. So the nutrients going into this tank I'd be probably quite happy with and a little bit of amino acid I'm not going to discourage. Um, foundation does tend to help a little bit with coralline algae. If you get these levels right, you probably don't need it. <coughs> but I think I have seen benefits from it, so I'd use it. Um, strontium, he's got it, so I definitely recommend using it. In this case, I put in about three mils a week. Then I would also use the potassium for no main reason besides the fact he's got it. Once again, it is a benefit, and there is belief that it helps the colour red. Then he's also got some iodine, which I'd also dose about three mils a week. Um, iodine has some good antibacterial properties, so um, if the corals immune system needs a bit of a boost it's good for that and it's good to help stop type negative bacteria attacking your corals so we've got some test kits here we've got some good foods there gonna make sure the skimmers clean twice a week and we're gonna put some poly filter into the back area and make sure that mechanically um, that's cleaned regularly so we're not getting a lot of crap building up and we've got our heaters in that chamber we've got our marine pure here and then our return pump here and a chiller here. We've got plenty of water flow and we've got very good lights. We're going to make sure the lights are on 100% for at least a short period of time during the day. And we have all the building blocks of a great tank. It's just that the levels aren't quite right. So therefore, over a long period of time, the tank is going to look not quite right. All in all, the corals look actually pretty good. And that's because no nothing's bad. It's just not right. So that's why this tank has had a pretty mediocre result because there's nothing bad going on in this tank, but at the same time, this it, it isn't actually correct. So we've really got to aim for, for the perfect water quality and then that's how our aquarium really thrives. So your tank over time is going to look exactly how it deserves to look. So in this case, we're gonna raise the KH raise the pH, raise the calcium, and lower the phosphate. And with the addition of the new dosing pump that we're about to put on this tank, then over a period of time, let's say three months to really see an improvement, six months to see a major improvement, we'll see a real turnaround in this tank. And we're gonna make sure we don't get too many more fish. In general, the fish in this tank are really good, but I would probably add a blenny, just because I like them, and they're a good algae eater, and then I'd add a couple of pest killers. 
Like I'd add a little hawk fish and a little wrasse just to make sure that we don't end up with too many bristle worms or various pests that they can help control.